Good evening. Have you ever been to Iraq? Well, if you have, I'm sure you have noticed something very special about them. They are so emotional. And I think you will experiment that from your own opinion. You will create that opinion if you had that experience. That's the same with us when we go to other countries. We also have our own impressions and experiments. About this subject, we are going to have a lovely discussion today with my students. So I wish that you can join us. Don't depend on that. We are very emotional. We are emotional people. You know, there is something very funny about us. It's not really funny, but... Who is us? Iraqis. Iraqis, When When foreigners come to Iraq, at first they say, Oh, you talk so much. And you love others so much. so much i mean you fall in love with everyone <laughs> okay yes listen to the, this is not criticism really it's the first things the impressions about us yeah i have friends really and they after we become very close friends they start their testimonies yeah for us and they say um you love so hard you hate so hard and You are extreme, like in yeah. You are we are, we are extremists yes. in everything. And you talk a lot. You are loud. You you eat a lot. You love food. After months, it starts like this. I miss you because uh-huh. <laughs> you are so emotional and you are so honest with your feelings, and your eyes are sparkling. Yeah. <laughs> especially you. No, not me. It's about Iraqis. I'm talking. You have sparkling eyes, you have beautiful smile, you are so warm. Mm. See, this is the cultural difference. When we go to their country, oh, they mm. are so they cold, are rude. they are rude, mm. they are so, they never spent money, they are, things like that. And then after months of knowing them, we say, they are very intellect. They put, they know where to put their money And they don't waste food. See, this is how people come to know each other. Mm-hmm. We start to understand each other. Like if you come to my house and the first time, oh, I do anything for you just to make you feel comfortable. And I know you can't eat all of this, but just in case you want to eat something else. Okay? Mm. They don't think like that. They think you're coming to my house I'll, I'll let you eat from my food. I want you to see how I like oh, I, the food of mine. Okay? So they put something, only one, uh, let's say, what do they call it? Only one uh, dish, main dish, and of course salads and those kind of things. Okay? And this is for them, this is hospitality. And this is very fine enough, it's fine. Because when you know those people, you'll start to understand that their life is harder than our lives in Iraq. Iraq is much cheaper than other countries. We can get more food. It's not that they can't. They, there is no meaning in getting more food. Mm-hmm. You understand? You understand. They it. are more practical. We are more emotional. Practical. Amelie. Amelie. That's why they are advanced, more than us. No, this is another issue. Another issue? Yes. Advanced, yeah. I think Iraqis are advanced. But now, what's happening, that the real intellectuals are pushed out of the country because they, they don't find their chance. Exactly. And I'm very afraid that you leave the country. <laughs> okay? This is another issue. I'm talking about the East and West, how we are different, but still when we become, 
related to each other like friends or workers or we work together. I know your, your merits. Merits, يعني صفاتك الحلوة. And you know mine. But then we start to adapt. Adapt or cope. يعني نبدي نتكيف مع بعضنا ونتآلف مع بعضنا. We come closer. Okay? It's, it's okay if you eat that much. And you say it's okay if you don't like what I'm doing. But we share a lot of beautiful things. When we work together, when we are friends, when we get close relations, I think, I think we can all be the same. And then we start to understand why they are doing that and why we are doing that. And we always have discussions, niqashat, about their views to the same things that we are different in. I mean, how, what do they think about the relations we talked about earlier? They have a different view. They are more practical. We are more emotional. But does that mean that they have no emotions? They do. But it's less. It's more practical. It's more in here. We are more in here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I need to hear that in English, Ala. Take your time. No, no, please. It, no, you're saying that they are more realistic. Okay. <laughs> He's going to say it in his own words. He has another idea, I'm sure, about that. They're yes. more real, real, realistic. Realistic. Very good. Yes. More than, our. than us. Than us. Yes, good. Now, our, our, our temelluk. temelluk. This is our, our lesson. Temelluk. Yes, yes. No. <laughs> Here you say us. Here you need a okay. noun. Okay. okay. Um, even uh, in. Even if somebody died, somebody died. yes, uh, there's uh, deal with the uh, with the matter realistic. It's, uh, In a realistic way, but let me tell you something. Sometimes, and I've seen this, it's their way. That's right, but they mourn mourn lengthier than we do, which means. يحزن على فقيد ينعم سير ينتحب معناها مو كل شيء مو كل شيء مو ان حالة الحزن الشديدة مو نحيب يعني نحيب شنو ويبينج ويبينج النحيب ويب وي ويب الوقت and we start to hit ourselves and we do this and tear is, our clothes. Yes. This is energy. This is the negative energy, all intense. That's why we are emotional. We have energy in expressing our feeling. When we, we are in love, oh, I'm so in love and I can't sleep. And Okay. Mm. This is a lot of energy in one emotion. And it comes in one time. And then it's poof, finished. Mm -hmm. Weeping and mourning is very intense. And we start to hit ourselves and jump around and screaming and weeping. And then after a few days, yeah, yeah, but after a shorter while, we only remember the loved ones. We yeah. remember them and we miss them. But we don't have that pain inside. They don't. They don't calm down. They have the same level of mourning for a very long time. Mm -hmm. Sadly, uh, when, when uh, somebody died, they uh, yelling and... Uh, they make poetry, lament. Yeah. Hey, lament. Lament? Yes. يضرب <laughs> نفسه so much on the, and on beat after. their chests, chest beating. 
chest beating ضرب الصدور chest beating this is what i am saying the morning is intense it has weeping it has lamenting it has chest beating and after uh, half hour half. half hour yeah half an half hour. hour we laugh <laughs> sometimes we laugh yeah, after half an hour eating, uh, yeah normally eat normally and, and, and make fun and, uh, make fun sleep. of it, each you other get over it <laughs> yeah. you pass it because it happens in uh, most of our uh, funerals. And this is true. <laughs> it is not acting. This is another thing I wanted to tell you. Some of them, they are... Uh, I think that it's in, in the women, it is more no, intense than... No, even in men. In the even men. in men. Mm. I've seen that. Mm. I always think about those things because I'm going around a lot and I'm comparing those things. Mm -hmm. Always comparing them. It's like something you have to think about. Why do we have such a hard time in issues that are about developing our country or advancing people or working with children? Why is it so hard? And why can we get over death so easily? We are accepting death. We are accepting it. We are dealing with it. We are accepting it. Yeah, I understand you, but yeah. I, I, I want to, to uh, understand the whole... Uh, when things start to repeat, are the repeated, concepts. yes, mm. every day, and you give your intense, intense, يعني, مكثف, emotions, <laughs> you get used to them, get used. habituated get to, you. Used. okay? Habituated, yeah. It becomes a habit, Adi. which is used to. Used. When you get used to something, but can we get used to death? No. Yes. 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 To death? Yes. My death or the other's death? The concept of death. I can you deal it's with very death? Hard. See, it's, it's hard. Been, it's been the ordeal of the human it's being for... Because it's the human value we are yeah. talking here. Mm. If I am talking that, okay, I can deal with death. Wow. I mean... You cannot just erase a person. No. This is what. That's why we invented. Our perspectives changed. Our views changed towards death and life. It became very different from other countries because we have, for decades now, decades, يعني عشرات السنين. For decades now, we have been dealing with death that is not reasonable. Yeah. It's not reasonable. It's not reasonable any place. No, but we used to. You're getting it as a habit. Yes, and the habit is more dangerous than death. It's dangerous but to be ha habituated or having a more habit. It's dangerous than death. Death itself, exactly. Sorry. Getting it as a habit, it's very dangerous. I mean, and it blocks something inside you. Yeah. This is, yes, but what is happening inside you? Something uh, dead. Something, something die in ourselves. There or, is something as you very said, something dangerous. Get blocked. We talk about us, mm. we may be sensitive, uh, uh, sensitive with But you continue. No, no, we, we as a... Uh, as, uh, uh, artists or sensitive people, yeah. we, we talk about that, but there's uh, many people don't feel anything. It's not that they don't feel it, they can't deal with it. No, no, I mean, yeah. Here, yeah. this is yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. It's their job. Mm. It's their job. Because it's repeating itself. Here it's becoming something like um, not moral anymore. It loses its morality because here it's about education too. Yeah. إذا إحنا بقى إلى عايشين عزبل وعايشين اللقط 
وعايشين ما ادري شنو، القيمة الإنسانية لي قدام عندنا كلش قليلة، لأن أنا قيمتي كإنسان وينها؟ فمن راح يصير عندي طفل ما راح أربي على القيم الإنسانية، إنه من حقك تعيش ومن حقك تتعلم ومن حقك تاكل أكلة نظيفة ومن حقك، ما راح يعرف هاي الأشياء، فهو من دي يكبر هو مو قصده، بس هو ما دي يشوف قيمة بهذا الشيء. دي يشوف قيمة إنه حياته مثل الغابة والبقاء له إله هسه هو حي وهذا ميت ليش هذا المحبس يبقى بإيده هاي فلسفته ليش يبقى بإيده خو أخذ أني أروح أأمن بيتي كم يوم منين جاء هذا الفكر إجا من الحروب المتوالية صح ولا لا اللي بدأت تتموت أشياء بالأحياء أكثر من ما موتت خارجهم زين إحنا هنا التعامل مع الإنسان المثقف المعذب في الأرض The intellectual person is the tormented one. يعني هذه من ضمن المقولات اللي كلش اعتز بيها. الانسان المثقف هو الانسان المعذب بافكاره، ليش؟ لانه دا يريد يلقى حل ومو مهم يعرف. المهم يلقى حل. And this is torment. Torment يعني عذاب تعذيب هذا. اوكي؟ okay? بينما هذا ما دا يتعذب. خلي يقول احنا ايه صح لانه اي 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 راح تلقى ليش؟ لانه الثقافه معناها التوجه نحو البرفكشن كمان البرفكشن ما ممكن نوصل له في يوم ما لا ماتيريالستيك ولا مورال انجلش بيس اوف كورس وي كان نيفر ريتش برفكشن بس ذيس از اور ايفري داي سفرينج ذات يو نيد تو ريتش برفكشن ان سمثينج تو فيل ذات يو ار جود اند فاين so these were our own impressions and opinions. I'm sure that everybody has his or her own opinion. Thank you for being with us. See you soon.